Welcome to this episode of Down Home Cooking. Today we're going to be make, making southern fried chicken. Okay, well we got our chicken cut up here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I add salt. I'm going to add some pepper. You can add any of your favorite seasonings that you like. These are the ones that I use a lot. The garlic powder. We use a little bit of margin. Some onion powder. put some red pepper flakes if we like things with a little kick. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hands and I'm just going to mix it all up together. Just to make sure I get them all evenly seasoned. Okay. And we'll put them in this bowl. And we're going to pour buttermilk all over them, and we're going to let it marinate in the refrigerator for an hour or two. Okay, now our fried chicken is mar our chicken has marinated enough. And now what I'm going to do is to our flour, make sure I've already added all the spices that I add to the chicken. Except now I'm going to take these uh, chicken bouillon granules, and I'm going to add me about a teaspoon right into my flour. Let's give it extra flavor when we roll our chicken in it. So let's go ahead and just mix all this up together before we flour our chicken. Get all our spices all mixed in real good. You can add any of the spices that you like. These are the ones that I just happen to, uh, they're like my staples. Okay. Put our chicken in here. Alright, just roll it in. Take your flour. So we get it all rolled up. I like to let it dry a little bit also. Now we've got our chicken all floured up and I've got um, the oil put into my electric frying pan. I've got it set for 350 because mine tends to cook a little bit hotter, but it, a lot of them call for 375 for frying chicken. Okay. As soon as it gets hot, we'll put the chicken in. Okay, now we've got all our chicken floured and it's dried somewhat. Now, you come up here and just want to test your oil to make sure it's hot enough. You're going to take a little bit of this uh, flour and milk mixture that you've got and just drop a little bit in. And if it's starting to sizzle like that, it's ready to put your chicken in. Okay. Now, and you can hear it popping, it's ready. I think we're not going to get it all in the first batch, so we're going to have to do another little batch. But we just let it cook on that side until it starts to get brown, and you'll see where it starts to get brown, and then we're going to flip it over. Okay, now we've already turned our chicken over, and I like to put a lid on mine to steam it a little bit, but you don't have to. But I just prefer it that way. Okay. Over here, I've got me a cooling rack here, and I've got some paper towels in it. I like to put the chicken over here to let it drain when it's done. Let that cook a little bit more. Let me cook a little bit more. Mm 
the little brown up. Okay. Our fried chicken is done. So I'm going to try a little piece of this wing here. Mm, looks good. My favorite part. Mm, nice, moist, mm, juicy, delicious. Try this recipe. Thank you. Come here.